Good Friday morning. I hope you're doing well. This is Angelique. I'm coming to you with a, a little bit of an update. Uh, you know I went to see my father-in-law yesterday at the hospital. And to be honest, it was quite brutal. I walked in there with the memories of my mom in her coma. That was bad enough. But when I got to his bedside and there were two nurses in there, they tried for like half an hour to put a needle into his arm, into his vein, and the veins kept popping and I was Oh, I was standing there with my with my coffee and I was feeling like really queasy and like in the pit of my stomach and I thought, oh, it was awful. Anyway, I went back last night and the nurse said that basically they're keeping him comfortable. They're not feeding him anymore. Uh, and I'm really sorry if you're hearing this right now and, and you know my father-in-law, Bill. Um, maybe you didn't even know he was sick and I'm sorry to bring it to you this way, but they're not expecting him to make the weekend. I feel really bad about that. He was He's an amazing man, a great man, a tall man, a funny man. He was really, really good with stories. Um, and it's really sad that he can't talk anymore. Um, but they're keeping him comfortable and we'll see what happens. And you know what? I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted to uh, to find comfort in food. But that's the reason I have certain things in place to keep me from doing that. Because we all have challenges, we all have stresses. And when you have when you have something firmly in place that's automatic that you don't really have to think about anymore, it's really easy to stay on a weight loss and a health plan. So I have my morning routine. Every morning I get up and I have lemon water. I have a big glass of water. I take my vitamins. I have my omega oil that I take in the morning. I always start with water. Later in the day, I'll have coffee or whatever. Sometimes I'll have breakfast. Sometimes I won't because I do do intermittent fasting once in a while. And that doesn't always work for me, but it's something I try once in a while. Because sometimes I find that if I skip breakfast, I get really, really hungry at lunch and eat, oh, maybe overeat a little bit. Um, I also have my, my fridge is already stacked with chopped vegetables. It's got washed salad in there. Everything's ready to go so that when I get home, I don't have to rummage for, you know, last minute stuff. I'm not tempted to go grab a pizza or whatever. And um, yeah, so part of my morning routine is that I get up, I have my lemon water. I actually do some I do some breathing as well. I do a little bit of meditation, a couple minutes of exercise just to have that that done kind of before I have my shower. And then I'll typically I'll go for a nice long walk in the morning before work. Uh, lately I got to be honest, I haven't been doing that because I've been going to the hospital and I've been doing other things. So that I'm going to definitely be getting back into. But the one thing I don't have to worry about is my food because my breakfast stuff is pretty much ready to go. If I want to throw together a smoothie, everything's in the freezer, it's, it's ready to go. And uh, lunch, actually I always pack my lunch. I have a fridge at work, but if I have a, an appointment somewhere and I know that I'm gonna be on the road the next day, like I'll pack the night before. I'll have my lunch bag ready to go. When I'm preparing my meal for the evening, I'll just you know, pack that lunch bag ahead of time so that I just grab and go. Just, it just makes it super easy, super automatic, so I don't have to, I don't feel like I need to go out to eat. Sometimes I'll, I will, and I, I do my best to make the right food choices. I'll research the restaurant before I go, and it's all about being prepared in advance and not, not eating for comfort. If I want comfort, and I do want comfort, and I, I appreciate your prayers, um, I'll, look to, I'll look for comfort with people, and with uh, books, and with videos, and with work. Um, I don't turn to food for comfort anymore. Sometimes it's tempting. I mean, I'm thinking tonight I could really, really want to use a glass of wine. I think that'd be really nice, but you know, we'll see what happens. I'm not, my intention is not to drink, but you know, I'm human. Maybe it'll happen, but we'll see. So on that note, um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, take care of yourself. Uh, get some food prep done for next week. If you want to get on a a weight loss plan or you want to try to get healthier or improve your health or whatever and I know if you're like me you're gonna say well I'll start on Monday no start preparing on Sunday write up a meal plan just even if it's just for one day let's just just kind of think about it plan ahead and when you are prepared in advance you're much likely to stick with it on that note have a wonderful weekend feed yourself well be healthy love you lots bye